Anjuma Yaz, the Pakistani sculptor, working in three-dimension art form of sculpting since the last 25 years. He is the only sculptor in Pakistan to be working mainly in stone, although he also occasionally deviates into mixed media. He has survived and developed in a non-conducive environment that speaks volumes about the tenacity and honesty in the work of art. Over the years, Anjuma Yaz has matured into an artist with a mission, with 22 solo exhibitions around the world. There are distinct features of his work. He has preoccupied himself with open-air sculpture for art for public and has produced public sculptures in important cities of the world like Tokyo, Beijing, Paris, Sydney and Montreal. In Tokyo, his stone sculptor entitled Smile is placed by the roadside near Azabu Market. While in Beijing, his work Life a 18 feet high stone piece is placed in the sculpture garden for the 2008 International Olympic. It's touching me actually the way he is creating uh, his works and in particular um, what he told about uh, the works because it's something for the public. So we are glad that the sculpture helped to keep the area beautiful. Eh? They are very nice. <laughs> Nowadays I'm working the large size sculptures, art for public. Because in Pakistan, there's a very, very little access to the public, to the galleries in art. So I'm putting my big sculptures on roads, on parks, on beach. In Pakistan, Anjuma Yaz's public sculptures are at Karachi, Lahore, Sargodha and Islamabad. His other characteristic is his boldness of forms and compositions.
Uh, for us, it was also very interesting to know what kind of uh, uh, modern art is uh, uh, to find in uh, Pakistan. I'm very glad and happy to see one of uh, Islamic, I mean, uh, Pantar, or what I call it, the man who makes exhibition like that in country, uh, like Europe country. This is very good for Islamic uh, to give him, you know, more information about what we have also. Mm -hmm. 